Welcome to the Tradex Food, Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. Some fast facts to start the week. Reduced quotas in Eastern Canada and Europe for Pandalus Borealis are expected to push up prices for West Coast cooked and peeled Jordani shrimp by at least 10 cents a pound this season. There's also a strong indication that West Coast boats will go on strike in April at the season opener to push for even higher prices. This could mean supply shortages. In the news this week, Despite falling prices on twice frozen Pacific cod fillets, prices on once frozen fillets are holding steady. Once frozen 8, 6, 8 to 16 ounce fillets are going for about $3.60 a pound and twice frozen fillets have dropped to between $2.60 and $2.75 a pound. Meanwhile, prices on H&G J-Cut and collarbone on Pacific cod are falling. Initial prices to China were set too high when the season opened and the Chinese buyers weren't interested. As a result, prices have come down about 10 cents a pound in the last few weeks. 10 cents may not seem like much, but for fish that sells under $2 a pound, this is significant. 1 to 2 kg Pacific cod caught by fixed gear is priced at $1.52 a pound delivered to China. Bigger fish is going for about $1.60 to $1.65 a pound, and even at these levels, fish is not selling. Next up, Alaskan snow crab. Alaskan snow crab is coming in slow due to ice in, in the Bering Sea. Fishermen have had to remove pots and are waiting for better conditions. Slow landings have propped up prices, which were expected to fall because of the large quota. Current prices on a 5 to 8 ounce cluster are $5.62 a pound. King crab prices have also leveled off. The quota was cut drastically by 47% this year to 14.8 million pounds. But, the price, but prices hit the ceiling. It turns out buyers would rather switch to snow and Dungeness crab than pay so much for king crab. 9 to 12 count king crab are going for $24.25 a pound. That's down over a dollar a pound in comparison to December. In other news, the International Pacific Halibut Commission announced an 18% reduction to this year's halibut quota. Alaska gets about 77% of the 33 million pound quota. The remaining is split among fisheries on the U.S. West Coast and in British Columbia. The reduced quota was expected, but given astronomically high prices and the fact that inventories aren't moving, we don't expect increase prices to increase. More details on the halibut market are summarized in our latest market update report on our website. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.